Grief Suicide Hotline. Thrill me. First day? Oh, yeah. It's really pretty simple. Most important thing is listening. The love of my life. Stop saying that! Is an actual prostitute? Nice. What? And try to sympathize with what they're going through. Pull your head out of your ass and start acting like a fucking adult. I guess the only other advice I could give would be... Who is this? Who the fuck gave you this number? See, this place is more of a tax shelter than it is a business. Everybody out there is court appointed to be here and indebted to me in some fashion. It's a bonus scam. I could never do that to someone's grandmother. Uh, stop that! Now I go to meetings five nights a week. <laughs> Sobriety! Yay! High school guidance counselor. Fucking useless. You're not trying to hurt them with the decisions you make. Oh, I totally try to hurt them with decisions that I make. Really? I thought we weren't supposed to date people that called into the hotline. Girls who call into the hotline are crazy bitches. Tell me about it. Why are you like this? I really can't help it. Well, then why do I keep hanging out with you? Oh, you definitely can't help it. Around here, you keep your guard up. Oh, yeah! Ah! Oh, my guy. Keep your guard up. Up. Everyone who works here, we're manipulative. How does he know my name? Because I told him he lost his drums. Why? Because she lost his drums. And Petty... One time, my pimp caught me stealing horse tranquilizers for these two Nigerian guys and gave me a gun and he told me that I had to shoot one of them in the head. Why would you tell me that? Because you can't save them all, right? Good grief. What's your problem? What an awful, terrible, horrible story. I know.